Yo, what's going on guys? It's Westrom here, back with another video, and in today's vid, we're gonna be talking about a pretty serious topic. We'll be discussing, is 1v1.lol dying? And I know a lot of people will have mixed opinions about this, but before we hop in this vid, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you never miss my uploads. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So yeah, this is a pretty widely talked about subject over the community, whether it be Discord or YouTube comments or TikTok, wherever it may be, people are assuming the game is dying. And to put it simple, the game is not dying. And I will go over all the proof in this video just to show you guys how much the game has grown and also how much the game is growing. Just before we go into all this proof I'm about to show you guys, it does upset me that people are saying the game is dying. If you guys think the game is dying, it really is not. And I know a lot of YouTubers, a lot of people in the community, especially pro players saying, oh, the game's not the same as it used to be. Um, the game is definitely losing potential. And I know exactly why you guys are feeling that. Honestly, I've thought the same thing for a little while too. But once I've shown myself all this proof, it really helped me out knowing how good the game is and the direction it's going in. So here I am on the website. Obviously, there's been major upgrades from the past. People are always forgetting how old the game used to be. Like people forget this was me over a year ago at this point and I was paid to play this game, right? I was paid, I think it was like 50 or $100, I forget at this point, but I was actually paid uh, to play 1v1.lol and I'm pretty sure I put hashtag ad and everything. This was a true includes paid promotion sponsorship. And you guys can see how old the game was. All they had was 1v1 and party. Even the settings tab looks weird. The region was really weird. It just said US. They had a Reddit, a Discord, and they linked just build.lol. Now they have all this cool stuff. They have 1v1.lol coins. They have a whole store full of skins. They have your own locker where you can equip your own skins. And they have honestly some of the best UI for a browser game. But yeah, to say the game's dying from at one point it looking like this to a complete revamp to this, it's a very, very overstatement to the game saying, oh yeah, it's dying, it's dead. Now, one thing you really could compare it to is this video I posted about six months ago where, yes, the game modes are exactly the same as what is shown here, but you already see there's a big improvement in UI. They added a lot more content to the game. So yes, over the past six months, the updates have not been very big, but they have been consuming a lot of people's time and definitely keep players playing. Now, just to show you guys a true example of how much this game has grown, we're not going to take this as an example because I was on 1v1.fail, basically their development website. It only says there were 17 people online at this time. We're going to take an example from, I think this was about nine months ago, where the game only had 500 players, guys. And this is when they just had added battle royale back to the game so this was like an update by the way so keep in mind an update had just happened i did record it fairly early so it might have gone up to about a thousand players but a thousand players compared to what it is now like if i went to the game now being five thousand players on us that's crazy that's basically 10 times the amount of players you see online on an update nine months ago so you already see the game has grown by 10 times the amount it had before and I could switch from US East to like US West, and you will see there's a bunch of players there to 1600. You have EU, which is always the highest, with 7,700. Now, even at one point when I was showing Dr. Kai this, I think this was February 3rd, 2021. So just a little bit over a month ago, I said, I got a video idea. Let's try and hit 10,000 players on the game. US had 6,800 on at the time, EU had 8.2K. That's 15,000 players on at one time. Now that video idea ultimately fell through, but I did end up seeing 10,000 people on the game at one point. I didn't get a screenshot or anything, but there, were, there really was 10,000 people. I think it was on EU at the time, EU servers hit 10,000. I think US East had about 8K, but that's 20,000 players almost together just a month ago. So if we take that into consideration, we can assume EU had maybe a thousand players on at this point. So to go from 1500 players about a year ago to 20,000 is absolutely mind blowing. Even today, I have 5,000 here in EU. You have about 7,800 here. That's about 13,000 players on at one time right now. So no, the game's not dying. It may be less than it was a month ago where it was at 20,000 and now it's at about 13,000, but the game's definitely not dying. Now where this comes in as a big thing where YouTubers are talking about it is the views that have been dropping for each content creator. For instance, if I went to Erd1's channel, his views have dropped 24%. 
First of all, he does not upload as often as he used to back then. And secondly, sometimes blow up videos come and go. Like for him, his blow up videos have come and gone, come and gone. You can see by his graph, it's all over the place because he's had videos blown up. He's had videos die off from the blow up. And you can't keep this consistently unless you upload and keep the views coming at the same rate. One prime example of this is usually when I upload in April, I got 1.6 million views on my channel, and that's because of the Roblox egg hunt. I got like a million views from that, and then I can't keep that going, so I dropped 500,000 views the next month. Now, obviously, I kept it going up because I was uploading almost daily over the summer, which helped out my channel a lot, but you can't justify a dying game based on YouTube views, by the way. Like, I'm down 7% on my YouTube views. Now, I'm sure this has affected a lot of other YouTubers as well, or it wouldn't be talked about this much, but 7% honestly is not that bad of a drop for me. Now, one thing I really want to show you guys is the chart for the past 12 months on 1v1.lul. You guys can see it was kind of a dying game sort of way down here when I wasn't uploading on it. This is kind of the time where it had shots up, it was getting updates and everything, and this is recently. It is at 100, which over the past 12 months, if you don't know what 100 means, this is the most popular point in the past year that 1v1.lul ever had, and that was from March 7th to March 13th. Today, it's March 18th, and you guys can see there's a drop coming. So people saying, oh yeah, the game's dropping over 50%, well... You have to think about it this way. 1v1.lul introducing the skins and coins like this definitely is going to take a drop on it, right? I literally covered the coins like two weeks ago and all these new skins two weeks ago. It was this video right here. I got 44,000 views. This video got 59,000 views as well. So you can see during that time range, I was pulling a ton of views and that's because 1v1.lul was being searched twice as much. But now, with the drop to about 56 from 100 on Google Trends, you can only assume that it's being searched half as much. And that makes sense because after the update, you know, two weeks after an update, if they don't continuously get more updates, kind of like how Fortnite would do it, or other big popular Roblox games, for example, they update quite often, it's going to see a decline, which we see here. Now, that's not a big deal over time because we do know 1v1.lul eventually gets updates. It's just every few months. And I have to admit, 1v1.lul recently has been doing really good, you know, when they brought these new skins a month ago, and then they brought the coins. It's been about every two weeks we receive an update. So we should be seeing some type of update very soon if he decides to continue that path. But once we see that update, the search results are just going to shoot right back up. It's not like we're sitting here watching the game fall off. It's just been two weeks since there's been an update. So so many people are complaining, but this was literally one of the biggest updates we've seen in a very long time. And I mean, personally, you guys know, I haven't been uploading all that much over the past few months or so. You guys see, I literally came back about two months ago at this point, and I've uploaded about 18 videos, which all in all isn't that much. And I know Dr. Kai has been taking a break too. You guys can see he really doesn't upload that much anymore, and that's part of it. You know, YouTubers like myself and Dr. Kai, if we keep uploading daily, obviously you guys will have more videos to watch and then it reminds you guys more of the 1v1.lol game and it keeps you guys coming back because we keep you guys entertained with the game and then you're like oh i should play that game right now it sounds fun after you just watched our videos but if we're both not uploading as much it reminds you guys less that we are posting videos it reminds you less to play the game so yeah i will say it falls down on me and dr kai and a few other youtubers as well uh for the downfall of 1v1.lol if you guys want to call it that but at the end of the day, the game is not dying. I have a lot more video ideas too. It just takes a long time to put it all together. And I have some really insane ideas coming to my channel very soon. It's just going to take some time to put it all together. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe like I said earlier. Also, check out my other videos here. One will be my most recent upload and one will be best for your viewer or best for you. And yep, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.